The bake sale held on the UCLA Brune Walk was not the first of its kind. A similar event was held by college Republicans at UC Berkeley in 2011. At the UCLA event, Asian American students were charged $2.50 for a cupcake, white students were charged $2, Latino students paid $1.50, black students paid $1, and Native American students 50 cents. The message of the bake sale is that quotas and affirmative action make it easier for certain ethnic groups to get into college. Young Americans for Liberty director Tyler Koteski says the event was a satirical protest of UCLA's efforts to reinstate racial quotas and affirmative action policies for university admissions. We're trying to show that just like charging you a different amount for a cookie based on the color of your skin to be considered wrong, unfair, offensive, and racist, so should treating you differently in your college application based on the color of your skin, what you look like. On the other side of the Bruin Walk, about 40 students gathered in protest of the event, holding signs that read brown, oppressed, outraged, and RIP diversity. Student Naomi Santa Cruz feels affirmative action is needed. She says conservative groups refuse to see the big picture. I think they're mocking the advancement of uh, people of color, minorities, and women in general. I don't think that they see the core concept of the problem. They're, they're saying that they're trying to make a point of looking at people just by the difference in color, race, gender, ethnicity. The foundations in their muff muffins are the same, but in reality, in our country, in our institutions, the foundations of where people come from, where, where the history of people, are not the same. Several campus protests were held at UCLA recently. The Undergraduate Students Association Council supported the actions. Those efforts were staged both in favor and against Proposition 209, which prohibits the consideration of race in admissions to public California colleges. Koteski says that his group supports campus diversity, but feels it should be achieved by attacking the root causes of the problem. We feel that the solution for those should be through fixing a lot of the structural issues that plague these underrepresented, underprivileged communities, rather than using basically racist and discriminatory policies. The problem that has much deeper Structural issues like drug laws, uh, flawed educational systems, you know, we still think could increase diversity, just wouldn't take this broad base. We're going to look at you this way because of what the color of your skin is. Matthew Simons is a college Democrat who says the bake sale is racist, but ultimately served a positive purpose. It actually brought attention to the issue. The counter response has been stronger than the agreement with the issue, so it actually ended up hurting the Republicans' position. Victor Nara from the UCLA Labor Center feels conservative groups twist the message and intent of affirmative action for an agenda that blocks diversity, just like they did for Proposition 209. They're using the same framework that Ward Connolly and others use. People that were pushing for Prop 209 were actually using Martin Luther King, his statements as an example why we needed Prop 209. You know, because you can, you can really twist things around in a way to support something that looks like diversity, but it's not. It's, it's really excluding disadvantaged communities from participation. In 2011, Democratic Governor Jerry Brown vetoed SB 185, which would have countered Prop 209 and returned some aspects of affirmative action. In Los Angeles, I'm Alex Shapiro, Pacifica Radio, KPFK.